Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. They got a couple items here about the IRS issues Superfund chemical excise tax rates and IRS issues frequently asked questions FAQs on the reinstated Superfund chemical excise tax to assist affected taxpayers. But I'm not going to go into those in any more detail here. Instead, we'll just round out the week with an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. The economy has a huge problem with inflation, but rest assured the Biden administration is on it. Their sophisticated plan? We will find one special individual that somehow represents all minorities, all sexes, and all sexual orientations, except straight men, at one time. So we can give that one special unelected individual a whole lot of power based on these amazing credentials and provide them with a new American sounding title. Something like, oh, I don't know, the economies are. That would solve the inflation problem. It's kind of like when the Tibetan monks search for the reincarnation of like the Dalai Lama, except instead of looking for the inner essence, we focus on like the outer package. So it's actually kind of the opposite really of the Dalai Lama thing, but still it's just as hard. Anyways, we're not out of the woods yet people, but rest assured the Biden administration is searching for this special individual, a kind of messiah, if you will, who will solve all of our economic problems by dint of their ambiguous nature. Oh my gosh, we found him, her, Moose Cat Scooby Snack. Mr. Mrs. Moose Cat Scooby Snack, you're about to become the next economies are destined to save the world. Any words for all the little and sadly ordinary people out there on how we could fix the economy? Well, maybe says the new Mr. And Mrs. Scooby Snack economies are, the economy just needs to transition into being a woman. Yeah, uh, nobody said the economy was a man. It's just an economy that's currently overheating. I see, says Mr. And Mrs. Scooby Snack economies are, well, not calling the economy a man, that's certainly a good start to solving our inflation problem. And if it's overheating, maybe we should just give the economy some puberty blockers. That often solves the problem. Well, I don't know. That would be quite a shock to the system given the fact that both the Federal Reserve and the Biden administration have been pumping the economy full of testosterone for quite some time. It's a bold move, Mr. and Mrs. Scooby Snack economies are, but we'll do it. Yay, says Mr. and Mrs. Scooby Snack economies are. And then we could give the economy breasts. Yes, and who wouldn't want an economy with breasts? They're already part of the gross domestic product GDP anyways. As you can see, the Biden administration has found the solution to Americans' problems once again. The economy, it may not be in good hands, but rest assured it will be in Biden's, especially if we give the economy some artificial breasts and as long as we the people allow him to fondle it instead of finding someone who can actually fix it.